Well, Alan getting ready for us right now, standing in front of a house that's sustained incredible damage. What's going on there, Jacqueline? Well, this gives you an idea of the force of this storm. A mudslide actually split this office building in two. These two parts used to be connected. And you see this part on the left here? Uh, that is the main part of the building. You're looking into the second floor of the building. The first floor is under a wall of mud, and that's what we're standing on right now, about 10 feet of mud that used to be the parking lot, and now it's turned into this incredible uh, force. You can imagine what sort of pressure it had to push to literally split this building in two and push this right half of the building over. And take a look at this. See these trees that have fallen over, fallen into the building? Uh, they were actually uh, sort of felled by this newly formed creek that's over here. Look at all of this damage here, these trees that are toppled. And if you come over here, there didn't used to be a creek here. This is brand new. This is water finding a way. You know that up the mountain a distance, uh, this used to be a creek that was diverted somewhere else. And then because of the floods, it has come down this way. We just talked to some of these people. They actually worked in this office building. They're salvaging what they can. But let me tell you, it is difficult because a lot of the building, about half of the building, is buried in mud. And they've had crews here all day trying to remove some of this mud so that they can get to the power lines, which have been knocked over by the force of the winds and the rains and the floods. This is a huge mess here. Now, I talked to one woman who has worked in this building for three years. Here's Kate Kellett. Here's what she had to say about dealing with this disaster. This was a very sacred, safe space, and uh, we used to see deer running around the hill up here, and we had a mountain lion and her baby right out here, um, foxes. It's, it's a special place, and I don't know how, how it's going to be... Um, remedied. It's, it's a mess. And here's a look at this mess. You can actually see this mud here that wasn't here before. It actually is uh, covering uh, about 10 feet below. There is a, a parking lot and now it's a giant mound, a giant mountain of mud that has to be moved. The people I talked to say they don't know what they're going to be able to do. This used to overlook this beautiful mountain site here at the mouth of Boulder Canyon. Now it's split in half by a wall of mud. Reporting live in Boulder, Jacqueline Allen, 7 News. Jacqueline, thank you.